Today we're talking about the dream herb, Kalia Zakatechichi. Am I saying that right? One second, let me just check. Kalia Zakatechichi, yes, Kalia Z. Now this is a very common popular dream herb which can be used either by smoking it or you know you can have it in a tea. You can even get a tincture I believe these days. Basically the stuff is really powerful. You know, it can help you have more profound lucid dreams. It can open the doorways to the, you know, deeper lucid dreams and more meaningful experiences. And it can also help you recall them as well in more detail. So the way it works is it affects the way that you enter and interact with the dream. And it, you know, makes them more profound and vivid. There are several ways you can ingest this stuff, Kalia Zikatichichi. Um, you can have you can roll it up into a sort of like a a cigarette with some tobacco or without tobacco if you want and smoke it the smoke is quite harsh though I've, i think i tried this a few years ago before i gave up smoking and it was quite difficult to do you know it was quite harsh and uh, dry you could also then make a tea with the kalia zekatitichi i think i'm saying that right i have no idea how to pronounce it um or you could you know look for a tincture the trouble is it's quite hard to get hold of it's quite difficult to get it, uh, it's quite rare, um, it's not very easily available. If, although there are places that sell it, it's quite difficult to get hold of it. The way you use Kalia Z is, say if you're having it in a tea for example, right? Firstly I would advise having, adding some honey or some sort of sweetener to this stuff because it's very bitter. Here's how you use it, okay? Wake up at say 6 or 7 in the morning, do a reality check, meditate for 10 minutes and then ingest the Kalia Z Okay, through the tea, for example, drink the tea, and then go back to bed and perform a wake back to bed. This is the easiest way of having profound lucid dreams using this stuff, and it really does work. Okay, I don't really want to say much more about it because I feel like you guys should try it for yourselves. But the only thing I would say is that the tea and the smoking is quite bitter and harsh. You're going to need to sweeten this stuff. Okay, so a few of the really sort of important reasons that Kalia Z is good for beginners, especially right, is that it makes your dreams vivid, it makes you remember them even if you can't normally remember your dreams, okay, which is key, that's important for some people, right. It doesn't increase the likelihood of sleep paralysis, meaning that certain supplements and things you can take, certain dream herbs and whatever, can increase the likeliness of sleep paralysis, making it more likely that you'll have a scary experience or even a nightmare, okay, even, even a nightmare in some cases, especially with things like galantamine. Kalia Z doesn't do that. It's also very effective in that it works on the dream, but it doesn't have any effect on waking life. There are no side effects, as so to speak. Obviously do your own research first and make sure that you read up on this stuff, but as far as I'm aware, there are no negative side effects really from taking this stuff in the right dosage. So go ahead and give it a try and let me know in the comments what you think. Done.